Hi, Captain Dave Hansen coming to you to talk to you about sport boats and what it's you want to be here's where we got to talk about today do you want to be the guy or do you want to be that guy and we're going to explain to you how both of those work I'm sure you guys have watched the other videos so you know I kind of have a half a clue what I'm talking about so if you want to be that guy and we all have a name for you on the boat. We all call you Bob. And if you want to be Bob, I'm going to tell you a quick, easy way to be Bob. Get on the boat with your buck knife and your tackle box that you can barely pick up that you need a forklift to bring. Get on the boat. Tell each and every individual what a great fisherman you are. Make sure you tell them the whole way out all the way to when you get to where you're going. And then when the fish start biting, make sure you let them know that it's their fault that you're not catching today. Make sure that they all understand that you're normally catching all the fish, but today it's because of all the tourists. It's because of the rent rods. It's because of the wind. It's because of the way that the boat's laid out. Make sure that you make sure that you tell everybody that you're the greatest fisherman in the world, but you're not catching today because of a million reasons. And you can make up reasons as you go if you want to be that guy. If you want to be the guy that we all love seeing come on our boat, when you get on the boat in the morning, make sure that you say good morning to the captain and the crew and see if they want, hey, can I buy you a cup of coffee, Cap? Do you need anything today? Is there anything I can get for you up in the store before we split? You need a soda or a Red Bull or anything? Just let me know, bro. I'm, I'm there for you. And then just be cool all day. Even if you think you know exactly what you're doing, none of us care. We don't care. We just want to go out and have a good time with you on the boat. We don't want to listen to you tell us how bitching you are all day. Okay? We want you to be to enjoy yourself, yes. But when you throw your line in the water, right away we'll know if you know. So there's no reason for you to tell us all day. Just kick back, relax, ask plenty of questions from the crew, introduce yourself, you fight, and then you get to know their names. When you can call the deckhands by their name and you can call the captain by his name, we appreciate that. I'm just telling you, as a former deckhand, as a cook, as a captain, hey, you sucks. Hey, Dave is cool. And believe me, any good deckhand or good captain, if you're doing that all day, he's going to recipro reciprocate. He's going to bring up your name. He's going to want to talk to you. He's going to want to be your friend. And then at the end of the trip, whether you caught fish or not, Make sure that they understand that you appreciate everything they did for you today. When you're leaving the boat, say thank you. That was a great, good, good day. Thank you very much. I had a great day. Because really, when you get on the boat, the whole experience should be your time on the water. It shouldn't be how many fish you caught. Yeah, I would love to catch fish every time I go out. But you know what? I just love going fishing. I just love being out there. I learn something new every time I'm out on the water. I take I pay attention to everything around me and I learn new things. And that's how you should approach this as a passenger on a boat. When you get on that boat, it should be just like a normal day. You should treat everybody with the utmost respect because that's what you expect. But don't go on there swinging all, all this stuff that you think you know. Because when you throw your line in the water, you'll be revealed very quickly. So you don't need to tell us. We don't want to see a million pictures of fish you caught. In the past, we want to watch you perform on the boat in front of us and perform with courtesy to everyone around you. Don't be causing problems on the boat. Make sure that you're part of the solution out there. Go with the flow. Enjoy yourself and be make us all happy that you're on our boat because we're going to make sure that you're going to have the best possible time. 
Now look, I understand if you go back and you look at some of the old vi the other videos that I made of sport boats, there are good ones and there are bad ones. You're going to have to figure that out on your own because if you go on the internet and simply try to get information, nobody knows what you like and nobody knows how you like to be treated. So you're going to have to get out there and figure it out and find out. Once you figure out what boat you go on, one time experience won't be it. You're going to go several times once you find a boat you like. You can PM me and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions and tell you what I believe are the boats that I believe, but I'm not going to film it. I promise you that because I don't need to listen to a bunch of them crying when I say the ones that I don't appreciate and the way they act, but that's just me. And you might go on the boat and think they're the greatest crew in the world. So that being said, be the guy, not that guy.